it's time for an update. So we haven't been on here for a while. We've been pretty busy um, the last year. <laughs> uh, we just finished up our work camping gig in Florida about, what, end of March? Yep. Yep. So this is going to be what happened between March and now. All right. So basically, like Crystal said, we finished our work camping job in Fort Pierce. And now we are back into our new work camping job right now. We'll tell you about that at the end of the video. Uh, but before we went to where we're at now, we made a detour and hit a couple states for our map, our little sticker map. Yep. Uh, South Carolina. Do we stay on a farm? Slow down. Make sure you line it up. Perfect. I like it. Awesome. Good job. So after we left Florida, we actually got to use our Harvest Host membership for the first time. Finally. Uh, we stayed at a brewery in the Savannah. It's actually, actually Richmond Hill, but in the Savannah area, right off of I-95. Uh, if I try to pronounce the name, I'll probably mess it up, but... The Bellium, I think? The, the, the Bell No, the, the Belation. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> the Belation. Uh, so that was our first Harvest Host ever. Uh, it was pretty nice. Plenty of room. I think they had eight rigs there, yeah. and we're 42 feet. So after we left that brewery, we went to another Harvest Host in South Carolina. This was at Bowers Farm. If you ever get the chance to stay there, definitely do it. It's such a cool place. It's a farm, so they have animals, pigs. <laughs> Uh, everything. Chickens, uh, chickens turkeys, roosters, uh, they had rabbits, cows, oh, everything. Oh, goats and the goats. Oh, and, and goats. Oh my gosh. At Bowers Farm, you just go out to their big um, plot of land and they just let you park wherever you want. They even have extra um, 50 amp and water. I think even sewer hookups for an extra $20. It's, it's definitely 30 For but... an extra 20 bucks a night, you can mm -hmm. do that. And I think they have two of those available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you just want to boondock, they have plenty of land. You just park wherever you want. Uh, so that was pretty cool. After we stayed the night there, we left South Carolina and headed up to Tennessee, Sevierville, and that's where we camped at Honeysuckle Meadows, another awesome campground. Our first views of the mountains that we could find. Oh, we uh, had a killer campsite too. It was like, honestly, I felt like we had the best site. Yeah. <laughs> because there was nobody in front of us and we had the view of the mountain and yep. just the biggest yard you could think of. You could probably no fit like 20 rigs between us and the road. That's <laughs> yeah. how much room we had. Yeah. Um, so from there, the Honeysuckle Meadows is also super close to Pigeon Forge, like 15 minutes down the road. Uh, One Direction is Pigeon Forge, but we liked it because it was really close to the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, and that's where we wanted to go more than anything. That's where we visited Cades Cove. That's where we visited uh, Klingman's Dome, yep. although it was super miserable that day uh, once you <laughs> well, got to the top. Once you got to the top, because <clears throat> it was actually pretty decent for the the hour drive yeah. going up to Klingman's Dome. It was 30 degrees cooler once you got to the very top. And then super windy and rainy. <laughs> yeah, so we have video and hopefully we'll show that right now. <laughs> but it was super windy. It was it was like you were just in clouds and it was just, it was crazy. Which in, in all honesty, that was still kind of a cool, it was cool. experience. Yeah. Like it would definitely have been cool to see it crystal clear. Right. Um, which, hey, we'll just have to go back. But um, it was definitely still kind of a cool experience. Yeah, it was. To feel like you were gonna get blown off. Because <laughs> I It's did. always a cool experience to feel like you're gonna get blown off. I really felt like I was gonna go over. I was waiting for my raincoat hoodie to just, <laughs> take off anyway <laughs> she didn't get it oh i did now that's what he said <laughs> uh so so while we we're in pigeon while we we're in uh Sevierville, visited pigeon forge went to gatlinburg um did the anakista thing honest review i don't know so anakista itself was cool because i i really wanted to do the lighted uh tree walk um that was my biggest thing i wanted to do we got to do that. Uh, so we didn't even go to Anakista until probably about 3, 4 o'clock anyways. In the like we didn't yeah. do the all day thing. We So we wanted to go a little bit later. Yeah. And then we did pay extra for the um, Astralumina um, because we figured Maddie would really enjoy that, um, which I actually thought that was The super Astralumina cool too. was really cool. Yeah. Um, we but, did have a good deal. Oh, go ahead. But <laughs> we waited 
in Disney type lines uh, well, I, to get into Anakista. Yeah, it was an hour wait to get onto the Shandala and then an hour wait to get down back on the Shandala. So that was kind of that was very Yeah. I, I they they need to have more of those. <laughs> <laughs> or or well, even just to be able to walk off. I don't even know if you have that option. We also went during, I think, spring break for uh, some of those yeah. southeastern states, Tennessee, Georgia, and even South Carolina. Yeah. So I think it was more crowded than probably it normally is, maybe. Uh, we even went on a weekday. Yeah, I don't even remember what day it was that we went, but it was in the beginning of April, yeah. that I know. But um, we did have a great dinner, yeah. and we had a good time, for yeah. sure. It was definitely, I don't know. I don't I don't know if it was worth the money and the time, but then at the same time, you'll see some video of the Astralumina and the tree walk, and I honestly, I thought that was worth it. So For me, it was more of one of those been there, done that, check it off the yeah, list we, type of things. I wouldn't go back. I think one time and you're good. Yeah. I don't think you want to necessarily go back. Right. But anyway, so we did do that. I mean, you got to do some touristy stuff, right? Yep. And then <laughs> the really touristy thing that we did, and this was the number one thing that Maddie oh, yeah. <laughs> loved and honestly probably the only thing she probably remembers of the trip, <clears throat> yeah. I feel like. But we did do a dinner theater show, um, and that was the... Pirate's Voyage. Pirate's Voyage. <clears throat> and it was actually pretty fun. I had a good time. It was expensive, um, I will say that, Yeah, it that, was a little though. pricey, but it was worth it, in my opinion. And especially because Maddie. Maddie I loved mean, it. She we played. all had a great time, really. Yeah. It was good. It was cool. Yeah. Um, and even the food there was actually oh, pretty yeah. decent. Definitely. I mean, and the service was great, and they yeah. were very quick and efficient. And, yep. And uh, so... All right, so we stayed in Tennessee for four or five days. Mm -hmm. uh, and did, you know, some of the tourist stuff, not too much, but we spent most of our time in the Smoky Mountains. Um, from there, we traveled over to North Carolina. We went to Asheville. We stayed at two different places in a Asheville, actually. The first place was the Asheville East KOA. The place was really fun. We had bad weather most of the time there. We did. So we didn't really get to um, experience too much of the amenities there. No, no. Um, I will say this. It looks like a really awesome summer spot. Yeah. Because they do have... Um, I am totally going to butcher the river there. It's like Sewanee... It's not Swanee, but it starts with an S, and we can link there, put the little title there or something. But they have a river there, and you can actually uh, inner tube down the river in the summertime. Mm -hmm. um, so that looks super fun. Plus, they have two little ponds on each side of the uh, KOA itself that are stocked with fish. And we did fish. Yeah, Crystal caught a stick. <laughs> caught a stick. And <laughs> Fish stick. <laughs> yep, and I lost a few lures. Um, that was yep. about it. But in the shop at the KOA, they have bait and tackle. Uh, it's actually, the whole store is, is super nice. Uh, they have so many things. But in the back, they have worms. Dry cooks, bobbers, bobbers all, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. So maybe if, even fishing poles, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so if you bring just your fishing pole, you can definitely fish yeah. there. And you can also um, kayak. Oh, yeah, they have um, kayak rentals. Kayak, maybe, and maybe canoes, I'm not yeah, really sure. Yeah, like paddle I boats. Yep. Oh, paddle boats, that's what it was. Yep. Um, so they have that, and then they do have a pool that's open in the summertime as well. But mm -hmm. we kind of had some rainy conditions, so we didn't really, but it yeah. was a nice campground. From there, it's, it's an easy drive to Black Mountain, which is a small uh, little town, I guess you'd say small. Oh, yeah, that was uh, super cute. 20 minutes down the road, they have a nice Not brewery, Black Mountain Brewery, uh, all types of different... Um, pizza, they have uh, shops, food. Yep, a couple of different pizza places, a couple of different restaurants, a great Italian place we ate at one night. Very uh, local. And that's all like yeah. 20 minutes down the road from... Asheville East KOA. Yeah. After we stayed at the Asheville East KOA, we've traveled to where Crystal's been dying to go for a while now, and it was called Campfire Lodgings. Mm -hmm. This place is up in, uh, the up in the mountain. It's it's so t I don't know. It's, it's so tight. That's what she said. <laughs> it's so tight uh, that they tell you in the description of when you when you check in or, or not check in, but when you make your reservation, do not show up until after 2 p.m. That gives all the campers that are leaving that day enough time to go down the mountain, which is not very big, to go down the mountain so you don't have any action, interaction with camper on camper, one going north, you know, up, one going down. Because it is a pretty small road. Not that small, the dually and the 42 foot uh, fifth wheel fit no problem. no problem. But you're taking up that whole But you're gonna road. take up most of the road. So it's, but it's well worth the drive. 
Yeah. I mean, the the top of it, when we've had a premium site. We had a premium site. They have five, I yep. think. That's We're at P4, right premium four. And when you back in and park, it's literally just a straight view of, of a little valley with some houses and stuff and mountains in the background. And, and the, uh, that, the river, the... Uh, Oh yeah, I think of the French Broad River. Yes, thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, we w we wish we could have stayed there the whole time we were in Asheville, but they campfire lodgings were full, so we had to do a little, few days at Asheville East. From there, though, we were able to um, take a few trips um, to some breweries, and yep. actually, to downtown oh, Asheville is only about mm -hmm. twenty minutes. Yep. Very Sierra, close. We went Sierra, Sierra Nevada Brewery, Wet Wicked Weed which is in downtown Asheville. And there was Highland. A Highland. Their, their original brewery. Yep. Uh, so, and plus there was other ones that we didn't even get to check out. So there's yeah. so much to do in Asheville, um, if, especially if you like breweries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you tell? Uh, downtown itself was okay. Yeah. It's, um, it's a nice, cute little town. Yeah. Uh, but we actually, the place that we fell in love with was... Um, Brevard, North Carolina, Brevard, oh, yeah. uh, Henderson, uh, the Pisgah National, National Forest. Forest area. Yep. That was probably our highlight, I think, for you and I. <clears throat> yeah, that was um, that was beautiful. And then that's also where we found the waterfalls that we could yes. eat, walk to or hike to. Yep. And yep. that was like my one thing on this trip that I absolutely wanted to do was go and see waterfalls. <laughs> um, Florida girl here. We don't have those. <laughs> so uh, that was my thing. I've seen them before, but um, they're just beautiful and um, they never get old. They never get old. So, and it was really cool. We did have um, a couple of friends give us some suggestions that oh have yeah. lived in that area. Um, and easy access because we did have Maddie with us, 13-year-old teenager, you know, so it had to be definitely shorter than a mile hike, and that was pushing it. Yeah. But, so um, I think the, the nicest one we saw was, uh, or, or the easiest one, rather. The easiest was looking glass right yep. wasn't and that right like off of the road right off of the road and yeah. it's like not even that far into the pisgah no. uh, parkway or... yep. you can literally park on the side of the road there's plenty of parking walk down a few stairs and the waterfall is right there yeah and then if you go around the banister you can uh walk across some of the rocks and i, I mean, mean you can even swim down there i'm sure ten, they do in the in 10 the 20 feet from the waterfall yeah. uh super gorgeous absolutely yeah. beautiful I think that was my favorite. That was yours? Yeah. So my favorite was more Cove Falls. And that one, um, as you're driving, once you go into Looking Glass, you drive probably another several miles. Yeah. And then there's um, a parking area right off the side of the road. From there, it's about I think it was three like quarters. Three quarters, yeah. Of a mile hike. Not bad. Not, I, it's I mean, not it's, rough. It, it's fairly easy. Yeah. Um, you know, you do kind of get winded a little bit. There was but a, a little hill. Beautiful there. though spot, uh -huh. and then all of a sudden you come up to it at the end, and the waterfall is right there. The cool part about that one is you can actually walk behind the waterfall, so then you can see it from all angles. Yeah, and that was really nice. Yeah, and even the hike there was really cool. Um, there was one spot where they had like a down tree, so there's a log going over, just like a little <laughs> trickle of a creek, I guess you could say. And we, so me and Maddie and, and Crystal had fun walking across that a few times, you know. Uh, so that was pretty cool, and then. Just the walk, yeah. It was a yeah. it was a beautiful, was a beautiful hike. Walk. Now waterfall is really pretty, yeah. Like she said, you can walk right behind it. Yeah, it was really nice. Now the third one that we saw, which we saw, I guess maybe at a good time because normally it has eight hundred people a day. It says. Which one was that? That's the sliding rock. Oh yeah. Now definitely gonna have to do that again because I want to slide down that rock. Yeah. The day we went, it was like thirty something degrees outside. So I want to go back in the summertime one time so I can go down that rock. Yes. That looked super fun. But yeah, eight hundred people. I think a day they say that. Sliding they rock. See that. That's yep. kind of crazy, mm -hmm. but. Um, and I guess uh, I was reading some of the signs and where you actually fall in, like after the rock dumps you out, it's eight feet deep right there. At least. I thought it was ten, but okay. It said eight. Eight. <laughs> he wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, so those are the three that we saw, but um, that area, the Transylvania County right there, has like, I don't even know the number, um, over a hundred yeah, waterfalls, crazy. if not way more than that. I'm yeah. not sure, but it's like the most waterfalls in one county i believe yep. so beautiful area you want to tell them what you started 
So Maddie, Maddie actually, yeah, she wanted to do this. So um, she kept talking about doing a scrapbook. So we thought, fantastic idea. So we started her one there. Uh, we basically just kind of, we did this in Nashville. In Nashville. At Camp, at Camp, at Camp Bar Lodgings, we started it and it was beautiful. So we got to kind of start that. And we have many, 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 many more pages to go ahead and put in there. But it's kind of a great thing. And I'm kind of happy that she had interest in that. And, who prints pictures anymore. So that was kind of a cool thing too. So yeah. now we can even look back at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. By the way, does anyone else do a travel scrapbook? Because if you do, let us know. I'm sure, somebody. They got Well, somebody scrapbooks does. were like a huge thing like years ago, but you don't really hear about it. No one prints pictures anymore. Yeah. But I thought this was a really uh, cool thing and actually we had a blast making it. So it kind of, you know, gets her off of the tablet. <laughs> So that was always a good thing, so. All right, so after we left Campfire Lodgings in Asheville, North Carolina, we traveled to our work camping spot, which is where we're at right now. It's in South Carolina, pretty close to the coast. We've been here for about two, two weeks. weeks. Yep, we've been here about two weeks. This campground's pretty great. We're loving it so far, and we couldn't be happier. It's a great transition from Fort Pierce, Florida to South Carolina, where we're at right now. If you guys have any questions about where we're at and uh, you would like to know more about work camping, Send us an email. Our email is listed on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and even TikTok. Exploring our compass. Yeah. It's all the same. You yeah. can't miss us. Yeah. And feel free to ask us any questions. Any we, questions? we don't hide yeah. anything. We'll tell you the good and the bad about work camping. <laughs> uh, but I will say it's been great. It's been great, yeah. yeah. So we'll have a, hopefully a nice good summer uh, here and to our next location, which we have no idea. No <laughs> where clue where we're is, going yeah. next. But hopefully between now and then when we leave November 1st, <laughs> we make some more videos. Yes, we so, will, for sure. There will not be a big break like there was between this one. Uh, we still try to post some of the shorts and stuff like that. And granted, our Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram are way more uh, up, to up to date and current. Yeah. Because um, those are just easier. But we will not We will not make this a long, trend, a long break between yeah. now and the next video. Yeah. So thanks for watching and subscribing. Um, if you still like it, follow us. <laughs> we really appreciate all the love. Yeah. And we are out of here. We're done. See you later. Thanks. Have a good night <laughs> or day. I'll cut that out. <laughs>